you have ever written a competitive examination in India, you are going to understand what I'm saying. If you want to write a Railway Recruitment Board exams, there are 21 Railway Recruitment Boards in India. Yes, if you're going to take SSC, that is Staff Selection Commission exam, there are seven zones in India and every zone conducts multiple examination. Wait, this is not over. If you want to write a banking exam conducted by IBPS, you have to write their multiple exams because almost every bank conducts its exam separately. So, if I want to appear for any of this examination and to try my luck, where do I fit? I have to write this exams going to these places also. Isn't that difficult? It's next to impossible. Aww. So why are we talking this today? Wait, I've got a good news for you to the AV story. Thank you so much for dropping and watching this video today. The good news is that the government has decided to conduct a CET, that is a common examination test for all these exams together. Yes, you heard me right. So there are going to be one exam for RRB and SSC and for IBPS. Now let's talk more about this exam. What's going to be in it? First of all, you can take this exam twice a year. Yes, two times a year. Second point, this is score. Whatever you score this time is going to be valid for next three years. So if you score 90% in one year, you can use the same score for the next two years. Now, if you score 90%, and you apply for a particular position and that position demands you to score 95% or that was a closing, you can retake this exam. Yes, absolutely yes. You can retake this exam, better your scores and that the best score. For example, if you score 95, that 95 is only going to get considered. Yes. And the good news is that it can be taken in 12 languages. Yes, you don't need to be proficient in English or Hindi. If you don't know these two languages also, there are other 9 to 10 languages which you can take making sure that everybody across India can take this examination and most importantly this exam is going to be conducted online yes and then results going to be very true it is going to be transparent and corrupt free this is such an amazing step for all the students who aspire to be into the government services and toil day and night thank you so much government of India for taking such an amazing step towards a transparent system and a corruption-free public services. Thank you so much.